So this is why I can't get up. I need to get up. I need to get dressed. I need to go pick up my art from the ghost exhibition. But instead, I'm wearing a cat. A cat that will not move. I have petted. I have encouraged. I have prodded. I don't want to pick her up. She hates being picked up. I don't want to disrupt her. I just want her to get up and move over. But no. Bella Bear remains. Bella. Bella. Baby girl. At least, see? She's going to fall asleep on me. I'm going to literally have to move this cat. guys so today was pickup for ghost which is um one of the uh shows we had art in so we picked up our pictures and we didn't submit to the new exhibition at this particular coffee house so we didn't have anything to drop off for synesthesia i felt a little weird actually about um submitting to synesthesia because um since i like actually like know the sensation of it I felt like trying to put that into art was kind of weird and anything that I did for it in art like I didn't know how to like depict it because I know I know what colors sound like And I know what music looks like, but I don't really know how to paint what music looks like in a way that other people will get it. Hi! So what I'm going to do now, this is uh, the unboxing from the Spoonie Secret Santa. Uh, Christina Doherty had a Spoonie Secret Santa on her youtube channel um and i will link her channel below in the comment section um i actually have no idea who my secret santa was so i'm going to open and see what it is i have now i've had these pre slit open for me um but I haven't picked inside. I can't find. Oh, it's a pull tab. Okay. So. All right. Let's go see if there's a note. Not a note. Ooh. So this is. Very cool. Nightmare Before Christmas socks. They're the little short socks. This was actually on my wish list. Um, I'm really psyched. Uh, I just organized my sock drawer too, so I can't wait to put these away. Um, it's a set of one, two, three, four, five pairs. And I don't have a set that's anything like this. And it's the 25 year set so like this set actually just came out recently I'm gonna see if my secret Santa's name is on here anywhere um, not on there and not on here so I'm hoping that his or her name uh, will be hold on is there more paper there's more paper let's see Ooh, here's a thing to figure out how to send a thank you note, so I'm going to put that aside, and, oh, okay, cool, Sarah, so I'm not going to read Sarah's last name on the air, but 
Um, hi Jade, part two from one of my favorite movies ever. I hope you wear them and get to watch. Enjoy from your secret spoonie, Sarah. Thank you so much. These are awesome. I'm gonna like write a note later too because I love them. All right, so I'm actually really surprised that there's another gift because this was like definitely a big gift for what we're supposed to be getting people. So, um, I'm impressed and also like, um, a little, a little flummoxed. I'm like, I, oh wow, I just figured out what this is. Hi Jade, your gift is coming in three different parts. I hope you enjoy your secret Spoonie Sarah. So, Apparently these are two of the three parts, and Sarah got me the Pusheen the Cat 2019 calendar. I'm so excited. This is actually on both of my wish lists, so I get to go take it off of my, my main, wish list, main wish list, too. I love Pusheen. I collect. So we have a Pusheen in my car that um, is a neck pillow that I use when we're on long drives, and so... Uh, I'm super, super excited. And there's stickers! I didn't know there were stickers in here. There's stickers in here. So, um, I'm gonna link this in my Elfster thing so that she will see this unboxing video. Thank you so much. I absolutely love this. Hand sanitizing. And then I have, um... I have the little calendar box, and this week I'm running low on some stuff, so I'm only filling a week, and I'm not even filling Sunday. Um, so I take one of the containers, and I just kind of seek out what I think I might need, put them in. And this takes a while by the time that I do my regular meds and then the vitamins and stuff like that. Over-the-counter allergy stuff. And then I put um, Tylenol tension headache in the morning because um, it helps with the uh, the Tylenol helps with the fact that I tend to get really warm from the dysautonomic reaction that um, comes from the CRPS of not really being able to regulate my body temperature well, especially if I'm in pain. So when my meds are off while I'm sleeping, and that'll happen. But then the great thing about the tension headache is that it also has caffeine in it so even if i don't have a soda when i wake up um because i don't drink coffee because ulcer then it gives me the opportunity to get a little bit of caffeine in so that's helpful so i just do this and i fill all of these um and i'll do um, I'll do all of the, the regular ones that I take, like, every single day. Um, I take really, I take high dose for over the counter. It's the 2000 IU D3s. Um, because when I wasn't taking these, I would end up, um, vitamin D deficient and end up having to take be really strong prescription ones and so um, I just stopped uh, going off of the over-the-counter ones and since then I haven't had to go back on the prescription ones. Hey guys so it's like three in the morning uh, got some grading done not nearly as much as I probably should have but um, at least I did get some done. I graded online, graded a few assignments, um, and, uh, organized my meds. 
um, which I actually taped some of so you guys got to see what that looks like. Uh, tomorrow, Dead and I are going into Chicago for an appointment with my pain doctor. So the goal there is not only to get my medication refills, but also to hopefully like make a plan for what the next course of treatment will be. Um, I don't actually have health insurance right now, and um, so I'm probably going to have to crowdfund my next treatments and so um I think after my research that doing um, a ketamine protocol is the best option for me and I want to confirm that with my doctor um and make sure that that would be the best option as opposed to um anything else that they have to offer there. Um, for example, when I started first going to that particular uh, pain center, I didn't know about like something called a beer block, and I didn't know that the um, dorsal root ganglion stimulator had been invented. So those are things I didn't know about that I have tried since going there and um, didn't work for me but I tried them. So, um, that's something that, uh, you know, we're just gonna hopefully talk about my options and everything. So, um, but that's tomorrow. So I won't be able to actually tape in the doctor's office, but tape before and after. Uh, all right. Hope everyone has a good night. Bye.